Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT, and today we're having a look at the Wondershare Slideshow DVD Builder. Now, when this starts up, we usually like to use it in standard mode, which has uh, pre-made galleries and themes, which uh, are nice to use. All right. Now we have to click Add Files first. We navigate to our folder where the files are. I'm just going to Control A, highlight them all, and Control click the ones we don't want, and say Open. Wondershare will bring them into our project and put them along here on the bottom on the timeline. All right. Now we need to do some rearranging here because I want to have a sequence of garden pictures together. So I'm going to grab this guy and move him over here, and this guy, and put him there. Uh, and I might have that one there. All right, now what you can do next is it calls it Slideshow 1 for the name. On I here, you can change that. You can do a rename down here. We're going to call this a more meaningful name of Washington, D.C. So let's fix that up. And with the colors, the background color, we find black's the best to use. You can also have a background image throw sh show throughout your slideshow if you'd like to. All right, next we jump into Personalize, and this is where the Wondershare magic is done. And you have lots of themes and things you can apply to one photo, two photos, or maybe you want to apply it to a section of six photos. What will happen is that Wondershare will have already bought in some ideas for you. Now, it's picked up an idea here. I'm just going to try it. Uh, it's applied it to those first four slides. I'm having a look at it. Uh, it's okay, but I've decided I want something else. So on that I right click and I say, okay, let's delete that style. Now on the first photo, I just want to have that come in on its own. I'm going to use collage and I'm going to just go for this collage one. And that's the sort of effect that comes in like that. Okay, I like that, so I'll click apply. Uh, these two photos here, these next two, I kind of think they look good next to each other, so I'm going to go for a two-photo um, idea. Uh, I'll try stack uh, one here. I like that. Uh, this gallery one, I, uh, no, I prefer the stack one, so I'm going to use that. I can actually double-click that, and that'll go in there. All right, now, moving along, because I've only got five minutes to do this uh, video, so I'll just show you quickly before I run out of time, once you've messed around and got all of this set up, you go to Create. And what Create does is where you can uh, make a DVD if you wanted to, but it's a lot more than that because you've got your DVD menus you can set up and personalize, but you can also save it to your computer. Save it to a computer as an MP4 flash video. Save as HD. I use HD MPEG4 and load up to YouTube. You can also save it to mobile devices and you can even upload it to YouTube from there. All right, back in Personalize, uh, there's another set of photos here, those uh, garden photos I was setting up, which run from here. Now, I think there's a group of about five of them. I'm just going to go uh, five photos, try this collage, and I like that, so I'll do Apply. All right, and that's now applied. Now, I'll show you some clip art. Uh, because they're garden photos, it would be nice to have, let's say, a picture of a flower. So I'm going to double click on flower. And what happens is a flower is going to be in my picture. Now I want it to be down the bottom right hand corner each time. So I'll just move it to there, say OK. Uh, let's check that out, how it's looking. All right, so there'll be a little flower there. All right, I might fix that up later. Uh, now, the other thing I wanted to show you very quickly before I run out of time here is that I've got a photo right here and on that photo I'm going to apply one of the effects and the effect I'm going to use for this one's bright stars so when that photo comes in there'll be some stars shining on it so I'll just say apply on that now the bright stars I can extend that if I want to uh, to make it last longer and what I should have shown you was back when I did the flower that I wanted that flower on all the garden pictures so I can just grab the end of it and I can pull that out all the way along so that that'll be throughout uh, my whole set of garden pictures. All right, now 30 seconds left here. Uh, we're running out of time. I'm going to go mess around with this and finish it off, and then it'll be on Passy's World of ICT blog post. And then I'll be going to create, and I'll be making an MP4 uh, video out of this, and I'll upload that to my YouTube account, and you can see it there, Passy World of ICT. And that's about it. Wondershare DVD Slideshow Maker. It is really cool, and I really like it.